Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Sleep. Let's check in with today's sleep research. Feeling a lot better after a good night's rest myself. With that early morning yesterday, it's much nicer to get a nice full night's rest. Good to see it back. 132 additional minutes. Really helps. <clears throat> but not as much slumbering as I had it expected. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better, but I'm guessing that's just from the overall better length rather than the changes in sleep types. But it looks like today might be a snoozing type. Ooh wee. One, two, and three, but a nice full house. Alright, let's see who showed up. We got Sveal. Absol! Yes! Alright, Master Biscuit's getting used on that. We got Metapod in the new sleep style. From the Metapod Incense, we've got Meowth. We got another Sveal. We got a Jigglypuff. We've got Eevee. We've got Wobbuffet. Meowth. And Growla. So many Pokemon. Oh, nice. Hardened sleep from Metapod. All right, only on top of belly sleep remains. And we have Absol and it's tucked to sleep. Its curved, bow-like horn remains vigilant even while Absol sleeps. It's said that this Pokémon's ability to detect danger is strong even as it slumbers. Nice. And just me out is hungry out of this big block of friends. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. Well, since it's hungry, may as well give it the premium biscuit. And to keep my word, because <laughs> I did say, it, if I saw another one, or if I saw one, because it's one of the few remaining Pokemon that I haven't at least seen in its base form, it's getting the Master Biscuit. It's an early holiday present for me. All right, and that satisfies our requirement for nine befriended Pokemon. All right, Metapod, since I did use incense to get you here. Okay, just gotta check, just gotta get that critical check in there. <laughs> you know what, I've got a couple of extra and we are about to flip over Gonna throw a couple to these Sveal. 
because they are good berry collectors. And this way, when the new year flips over, I'll just grab as many biscuits back up for all of January. That will be enough for snack time today. <laughs> Not trying to deplete the entire stash. Uh, no. While it is the rarest of the styles, we're gonna we're gonna share that Absol candy out. Okay. A lot of research XP. Okay, Bold Natured Meow. It's a skill based Pokemon with Dream Shards. Skill Trigger, Helping Speed, Skill Level Up, Helping Speed, Skill Trigger. Aside from its nature, it's, it's actually not bad for a Dream Shard collector. Alright, that's just solid. It's not fantastic, but it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Here we go. Jolly Nature Absol. Absol is an ingredient collecting Pokemon that collects cacao and... Come on, this one's got apples out the... Out everything. Uh, with... Is that wiki berries? A 15 minute frequency. 14 carry limit. Uh... Ingredient Finder S, Skill Level Up, Skill Trigger S, Energy Recovery, Helping Bonus, and it just basically evens out from Ingredient Finding. Still not terrible. Could be a lot worse. I will take it. Lax Natured Sphiel. No berry collecting S. Skill trigger, inventory up, skill trigger, helping speed, ingredient finder. Main skill chance down, energy recovery up. Alright. Some more Sphiel candy. <laughs> uh, I did throw on a recovery incense just to help get everything kind of back on track from yesterday. Sneaky snacking from the night before. Getting some good gains from Sveal. That berry collecting is doing some great work. Finish out our stamp card. Rank up. All of our wonderful morning login shenanigans. Okay, let's check in on a holiday research. Was able to use all those incenses, so some more handy candy. Just gotta get one more cook in, which will happen right within this video. For some getting back some of those biscuits. And some dream shards for gotta get one more bedtime in on time and cook. So just keep on keeping on. And just building up the sleep point bank for next month so I can just buy out the shops, get myself ready. Let's see what our free gift today is. 20 diamonds. Great. Always happy to see diamonds. 
Okay. We got some news! Let's go over the news. Well, the bundles kind of already spoiled on it, but it's got posted last night, so I got a little preview, but let's read through it together, shall we? <clears throat> In all areas, the New Year 2024 event begins at 4 a.m. on Monday, January 1st. New Year 2024 is a week-long event to celebrate the beginning of a new year. During the event, you can get one and a half times the usual sleep experience. Also, if you track your sleep every day during the event, you can get a total of 2,024 bonus sleep points. Yay! That's great. You'll be able to meet Pokémon of different sleep types regardless of your own, and some Pokémon such as Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle will be more likely to appear. So, new beginnings, getting the starters. So, starting the new year with starters. <laughs> it's easier to let our sleep become inconsistent at this time of year, but we hope you and your helper Pokémon can start off your year with a good sleep consistency. We hope you're looking forward to the event. I was just going over the dates there, just going overnight from the 1st through the 7th, technically into the 8th. How to progress in the event? It's easy. Just tap the sleep button for going to sleep and track your sleep. A variety of event related effects will be triggered during your research. Event bonuses can be triggered in area any area for this event. Which is good, because we may be somewhere new when that comes along. We can share on that in a minute. So, the bonuses. New Year's Day and the last day, one and a half times sleep XP and an additional 512 sleep points. Many Pokemon of different sleep types will be appearing regardless of your sleep style for that day. And certain Pokemon will be more likely to appear during your sleep research. So on the other days, between the 2nd and the 6th, still 1.5 times sleep XP, but 200 sleep points, bonus sleep points. Uh, many Pokemon of different sleep types will appear regardless of your sleep type. Certain Pokemon will be more likely to appear. So it's just, the difference is just the amount of sleep points between those days. So it totals up to 2024. Cheeky. Pokemon that are easier to encounter during the event. During the event period, the following Pokémon are more likely to appear. Greater appearance rate for Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Snowfur, and Abomasnow. So if I don't get super lucky this week, which it seems like, Absol's great, but also looking for the Snowfur and Abomasnow and Delibird. So it looks like maybe Delibird may still be the, the sought after one this week. Nope. The greater appearance rate for these Pokemon applies only to the separate areas where the Pokemon appear. Greengrass Isle, you'll see Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Cyan Beach, Squirtle, Pikachu, Tope Hollow, Charmander, Snowdrop Tundra is where you'll see Snowbird and Obama Snow. So, never mind. Take back everything that I just said about <laughs> full on looking for Snowbird and Delibird the rest of this week. Because I'm not ready for the Tundra just yet. Note about 2024. Each day of the New Year event rolls out over at 4 a.m. Event bonuses apply only to the sleep tracking that begins within the event period. If you report sleep data tracked before the event begins, or select review later during the event, event bonuses will not be applied. If you report sleep data tracked during the event, select review later after the event has ended, bonuses will be applied. You can only receive sleep points once per day. You will not receive bonus sleep points for the second sleep session in a day. Event bonuses do not apply for sleep tracking during the tutorial. And will be the event bonuses will trigger automatically, regardless of which site you conduct your research in. So we can go back to whatever respective research sites we want to be in. That's awesome. And we've got bundles accordingly. So if you want to spend any of your hard-earned or hard-bought diamonds, you've got three different bundles to pick from, which include, looks like at least in the medium and large bundles, uh, sub-skill seeds, but all of them look like you get biscuits, incense, candy, all the stuff you expect. 
Great. That's fun. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing some more Squirtle. <laughs> but uh, I don't think I'll be on Cyan Beach for that time. Community's looking good. Thank you. More ingredient tickets, please. All right. Let's get Snorlax fed and then gonna take a look at where things are for the end of this event and going into New Year's. Thank you, Wigglytuff. Need much energy as possible on this team. Keep getting them berries. Alright. We'll let Snorlax snack on that for a little bit. So. Over the last couple days, just been kind of keeping an eye out on where things have been kind of going forward. We've been spending most of our time split between Greengrass Isle and Cyan Beach. Getting prepared to head over to Topalo. For me, the big thing was making sure that I had a team of research power that was greater than 4,000, because that's what they recommend to make sure that you got squared away. Um, and I hadn't really looked after this week's kind of leveling up and investment of resources uh, to see where the Cyan Beach team was. I did do a little bit of a swab up here, but the important thing that I want to call out to is the fact that, yeah, Team RP is now over 4,000. We have a little bit of work to do with Diglett to just get it a little bit more juice. Same with Quillava. Um, they're still kind of like the, the stragglers in that group. But I've got enough to finally check out Topala. So I can go and get the, end, the, the year rounded out. Go in there and start making some progress week over week. So I'm really excited about that. And then, probably a couple of weeks in there, I can finally start looking at getting together the Snowdrop Tundra team. But that will be probably a February-March goal. So got a little bit of time before we get there. Okay. Gathered everything from everyone. Checked in with all of that good stuff. I can't remember that I did this on Monday, so I'm going to do it now, since I'm looking at all the things to clean up on. And I must not have. So awesome. Friendship increased. So it'll be another 280 hours until the next rank up. So that's going to be a little bit. But we've got it nearly down to an hour frequency of two berries, two apples, two cacao. So <laughs> we'll check back in next Monday and see how we're doing. Okay, let's cook some breakfast and see what we got. Mixed juice. Well, at least I almost hit the regular cap today.
All right. Not bad. I'll take it. And that takes care of our last holiday event mission. Awesome. So I don't need to pop on any incense. Don't need to do anything else like that. So that's good. All right. So that's going to take care of research for today. Again, thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know how your holiday event's been going down in the comments below. Let me know if you're excited for New Year's. Uh, is there any particular sleep XP that you want to like really focus on to take advantage of that one and a half or two times, um, you know, XP gain? Uh, for me, it's going to be just an excursion out to Topalo and just continue to grind on the Pokemon that need just a little extra pep in their step. But that's it for me. I'll be back tomorrow with some more sleep research. And in the meantime, sleep well. <laughs>